Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. Are all you kiddies as quiet as mice? You are? Well, now that's wonderfully nice. And those who are not, they'd better be soon. For here's some more news from the man in the moon. Of course, you know what happened up there. Of how the Squibobliums took up a dare and broke most all of the laws and kidnapped poor old Santa Claus. Of course, you remember the wee little boy whose name is Jonathan Thomas. Of how he went with the man in the moon and made us a solemn promise to rescue Santa before Christmas night. But now they've met up with a dreadful fright. You see, they set out old Santa to save, and you'll have to admit they were braver than brave, and they met three dwarfs who were really quite nice, who helped out a lot with some good advice. But then the wicked old witch of Rumpelstitch cast a spell which worked very well until they got into all sorts of trouble. And then they remembered a word they had heard which the dwarfs had told them to say. And this was the word which they had heard. It was hun, squee nun, squee giggly they. And then, what do you think? As quick as a wink, there appeared a good fairy queen who knew of the witch and soon spoiled her scheme, for she gave them a charm to calm their alarm. T'was an acorn that they could take through a forest so deep, which was enchanted with sleep. And the acorn would keep them awake. So they rode on their horse, Gorgonzola, of course, until something dreadful befell. A tiny white squirrel named Whiskery Bill scared them all so they couldn't stand still. And right off the horse, poor Jonathan fell. And of course, the spell worked beautiful well there in the forest so deep, for Jonathan Thomas, as to the witch's promise, went fast and sound asleep. Well, there was only one token by which the spell might be broken, for that's the way every spell goes. And here's what it takes to bring him awake a beautiful red, red rose. So the squirrel bowed his head, and here's what he said. I'll go for the red, red rose, but then here's where the story begins again. Asleep, how could I go anywhere? <laughs> For such a little boy, you ask the questions well, and by my trow, I'll answer now. It is the magic spell. For oh, far away in the forest deep, you still are there and <laughs> fast asleep. Oh, how could I be there in the forest fast asleep? When I'm here. Under my spell, which you are quite well, things are not always as they seem. So while you're asleep in the forest deep, you are also here as in a dream. Well, then, I'd rather wake up because I don't like to dream I'm here. It's too scary, and besides, I don't like witches. Why doesn't somebody wake me up? Listen well, my little tyke. It doesn't matter what you like. For here within this slumber cave, I'll keep you prisoner <laughs> as my slave. But you can't do that because I'll wake up. 
And then I won't be here anymore. It's plain to see you're very brave. But you'll not leave this slumber cave. Although it's quite tragic, your sleep is quite magic. <laughs> and all your sobs and cries and salty tears will not awake you for a million years. <laughs> well, but I'll bet the man in the moon will wake me up. Because we have to go find Santa Claus in time for Christmas. Uh, yes, he's trying hard, goodness knows. And he's sent away for the red, red rose. <laughs> for that's the one and only token by which this magic sleep may be broken. But for their plans, I have a cure. <laughs> a very good one, you may be sure. You hadn't better hurt Mr. Man in the Moon if you know what's good for you. Or Mr. Gorgonzola the horse, if wish to rebuild a squirrel. Of or... your talk, I quickly tire. So come, come here closer to the fire. <laughs> and look within the bubbling brew. And tell me what appears to you. Oh, I can, I can see Mr. Man in the moon. Uh -huh. And he's in the forest, kneeling down in the snow. By, by a little boy. What you see is very true, and that little boy is plainly you. Oh, it is, isn't it? But Mr. Man in the Moon is crying. I've never seen him cry before. I wonder why. Because he's much afraid you'll die, which is indeed a merry fettle. <laughs> Yeah, but wait until I stir the kettle. <laughs> now speak and tell to me what it is you plainly see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's Whiskery Bill, and he's running over the snow faster than two times two. Of course he is, and all for you. <laughs> but... Why, if you please, Mrs. Witch, where is he going? Far to the north, where the cold wind blows, in quest of the magic red, red rose. <laughs> Tis such a sorry pity, too, that he does it all for you. If he's going for me, then why is it a pity? Because I have a plan, and try to stop it if you can. <laughs> I'll stop that pesky, whiskery bill. <laughs> Before he reaches yonder hill. <laughs> For my magic mirror shows he'll never find a red, red rose. <laughs> he'll never find a red, red rose. <laughs> about your story and all the things you've said. And I don't know if I could grow a rose in the color of red. Oh, please, Mrs. Rose. I'm on my knees. It's not so much that I ask. Oh, it's quite a task. And that's quite right. 
For I happen to know the only rose I could grow would not be red, but whiter than white. Or I've run out of color. It didn't last. But you can get me some more if you will hurry real fast. Oh, can I? Really? Yes. Run as fast as you can go until you come to the long rainbow. And there you will find a tiny stone where the colors are kept. And what's more, you'll have to ask the rainbow keeper for the best of his colors and not the cheapest. And now don't forget what I've said. You must bring back only the very best red. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mrs. Rose, I won't forget. You are the kindest rose I ever met. Thank you, sir. And now, good luck on your way. Uh, thank you, ma'am. And, uh, well, uh, good night. <laughs> Well, at last we're on our way. At least Whiskery Bill knows what to do now, and I'm glad, aren't you? For I didn't think that there'd be any roses at this time of the year. But I wonder if Whiskery Bill will have any trouble in finding the rainbow. You think he will? Oh, I hope not, don't you? But then we'll find out in the next story of Jonathan Thomas. So don't forget to listen. I won't. <laughs> 